It will be four years next month since the Waldo fire and three years since the Black Forest fire, but questions still linger about the causes. Garrity on News Channel 13's Bart Bedsell explains the holdup. He's live at the El Paso County Sheriff's Office with a story you'll only see here. And Bart, both communities continue to recover. And Heather, most of the people in those communities have begun to move past the fires, but not everyone, and certainly not those here at the El Paso County Sheriff's Office or the Colorado Springs Police Department, at least not until they have some answers. These days in Black Forest, the snow melts faster because there are fewer trees to block the sunlight. Some of those trees are now lying along Black Forest Road, depending on whether property owners could let them go. That was kind of a personal decision for each person. Do you keep them up? Do you take them down? You know, a lot of people took them down to just move on. The latest step in moving on for PJ Langmaid is preparing his newly rebuilt home for painting. A lot of his neighbors have already replaced their homes. Others have moved on, not willing to risk losing their home a second time. Three years later, no one has forgotten the feeling the day the fire forced them out. I remember the look on my daughter's face when I told her it was time for her and her mother to leave. That'll be uh, in my brain for the rest of my life. That night when I finally did leave here, just houses on fire and cars on fire and or what, the birds were chirping. It was about midnight, which just, it was surreal. It is still an active investigation because two people, Mark and Robin Herklotz, were killed. We know the origin location. Uh, and at this point, that's about all we, we know. A special task force concluded the fire was the result of human action, but whether it was intentional or not is not known. And the case will remain active until that is known. We can't close the investigation until we have the answers for the family. That's who we're working for. Nearly 500 homes were lost in the Black Forest Fire. Today, about half of those have been rebuilt. Not nearly as many homes were lost in the Waldo Canyon Fire here, but the majority of those, especially in the Mountain Shadows neighborhood here, have either been rebuilt already or will be soon. Oh, but while the rebuilding of Mountain Shadows has outpaced Black Forest, Colorado Springs police have run into the same brick wall in their own homicide investigation that began when the fire killed Bill and Barbara Everett inside their home on Rossmere Street. What we need is more information from somebody out there that knows what happened. Springs police initially received hundreds of tips, but over the years that number grew smaller and smaller. Detectives say they understand the public's unfulfilled desire for answers. They deserve to know what happened and they deserve to know who did it. There was 346 homes lost here, uh, so it, it is frustrating. We obviously all want to know what happened and who did it. But for PJ and many others, the future means more than the past, despite this unsolved mystery. The market's recovered up here. People have got stunning views that they never knew they had. Business and developers are looking up here. You know, so there's, there's great hope uh, ahead of us while we look back at a tragedy. If the people who started the fires are found, and if it's proven that they were started intentionally, then detectives here say that murder charges are possible. If it turns out that it was just an accident that got out of control, the DA's office will look carefully at the circumstances and then figure out what, if any, charges need to be filed. Live downtown, Bart Bensel, KRDO, News Channel 13.